So we're just about to head off. We're all packed up. We're heading up to Goulburn River National Park. So the truck's chockers. And um, it's about nine o'clock. And we'll be, I think it's about four hours to get there. So we'll be off for a few days. See ya. Hey guys, Angela from Blessed Life. We're off on our trip to Goulburn River National Park. It's about nine o'clock in the morning and we're finally on the road, packed up to the hill. Ready to go. Can't wait. Yay! We're excited. Love getting out camping. See you later on. made it and we're finally here there's the river yay we're excited haven't been camping for ages and that's where we're going to be staying here um, we've been here once before with the boys when they were a lot younger our two boys and it was so good then so we're just starting to set up we've got the tent partially open but not fully extended out um, and I've got a set of lights here that I'm going to try out in the tent. It's got a battery powered thingy for turning on and off. And I'm going to put that in the tent as something we could use for just a bit of light in there. Nothing too big and bulky. See how that goes. So we'll get this all finished getting this set up and um, give you a shot once it's done, but we should um, have a beautiful morning view when it comes tomorrow morning. So we've got the tent set up inside, um, got the blanket down, got a love buzz light here and I put the strips in just to give us a little bit of light, it's just a battery pack one so it's easy to put in and out. I've actually just um, attached them with the velcro over here, velcro strips that wrap around this pole so it makes it a lot easier. So this is the view from our tent window at the head end of our bed. That's what we will be going to wake up to in the morning. So pretty.
I'm cooking chicken nachos for dinner over the fire. So we've got some chicken breasts that I've chopped up before we left. Froze that and had it ready. Got my easy nacho seasoning. And when that's cooked, we'll just get the chicken out, put the corn chips in, chicken on top, all the other toppings, cover it in some foil, let the cheese melt. And then I think we'll just eat it from the fry pan. Save on dishes. Yay. Anyway, looking forward to that one. A bit hungry, so good. Except I can't open the packet. So I've just diced up some tomatoes, nice and chunky. I'm going to dice up an onion and I'm going to mash up an avocado to go in it and that'll go on top of the nachos. So I forgot to bring the grated cheese, so I'll just have to chop up some sliced cheese for it. Then I've just got the taco, um, some salsa to go on top and some sour cream as well. So I'll get on with it and show you the end result. Just sampling the corn chips, they're good. Okay, I'm just going to put corn chips on the bottom here. Should be enough of that. Chicken on. It's only going to be a very basic meal because I find with camping it's nice to have meals that are yummy but not too involved so that you can not have too much to clean up after and doesn't take too long. Way too much for two people, but that's okay. Weird version of grated cheese. More on stuck from each other. This could take a while. Stop it now and I'll give it a shot. Yep. Okay, so that's the last of the cheese. So next I'm just gonna pop some foil over that. Very sad looking foil. Keep the heat in a bit. There we go. We'll just let that melt down a bit. So we'll see how much it's melted. It's sticking a bit to there, but looks like the side that wasn't over the fire as much hasn't quite melted enough, but that's okay. Still tastes good. So I'm just going to put some salsa on there. Some taco stuffy. That's probably enough of that. I'll add our guacamole. Very rough one. And a bit of sour cream. <laughs> Looks like jelly. And we're done. Time to eat. Okay, so we've got caramel dumplings for dessert tonight. So I just had them pre-made the little dumplings. They were probably about a quarter of that size, I think, before I put them in and got a little surprise when I um, opened the lid up. So they should be ready in about two or three minutes, I reckon. Can't wait to eat them. Yummo. Might not be able to see it, but we had a frost on the car this morning and I forgot to take the bacon out of the freezer last night hence me trying to defrost it on the fire Get our breakfast started it's a beautiful morning here very well, pretty cold I wouldn't say very very cold but pretty cold but, um, bacon smells great and Gary thankfully is cooking for me 
heard a live bird this morning while I was in bed. It's a beautiful day. He thinks he's being sneaky, but I can see him. getting late at about four o'clock. It might be a bit dark, but... How cool is that? A tree growing on top of a rock. Let's see. That's so cool. It's so tough. The Australian bush is just the best. So lucky. There's a wombat hole over there. I think I might explore that later on. It's huge. Go see if it's filled in or not. There's the sunshine coming through the trees. It's another glorious day. What a blessing. Our last day on camp. We're heading home today. I don't know if you can see that, but there's an emu coming this way. So we've seen a goanna, possums, kangaroos, wallabies, an emu. And tons of birds. Wow. Just life here is just such a blessing. I love it. Oh, brilliant. I get to watch you go to the toilet as well. Here's a few pictures of our trip. Thanks for joining me on our camping adventure. I hope you have enjoyed my first video and that it was a blessing to you all. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe for more videos.